So you need to build an enterprise app on top of DNN. What do you do? The first thing, you probably need to find the right set of tools to lay out the foundation of your platform. And that is what we're trying to do here. We've taken our most popular modules that are being used for this purpose and put them together in this enterprise collection. And what is so special about this collection? Well, first of all, you don't have to implement these modules. We've implemented them for you and we're actively supporting them. So you can focus on what's specific to your application. And second, uh, we've built this, uh, we've designed this architecture, the couple architecture where all the components of our modules are wired together from the configuration files. So you can easily uh, remove components just by modifying uh, the config files, or you can uh, implement your own and, and uh, wire them in, in the configuration. And we also built a community around this and also a crowdfunding piece. So we can also act as your uh, technology partner where we implement components for you. So we are not just a module vendor. We'll go past that and help you also with your specific requirements. And finally, think about our modules as, um, as working together because We've taken this separation of concern pattern and we've extended it past module boundaries. So if a module, uh, let's say Sharp Scheduler, knows how to run uh, jobs on a schedule, then other modules that need this task will not perform it themselves, but instead it will uh, provide an integration with that component. And in, the, in this example, for a uh, search boost, which is our search engine, will run the indexing job, which needs to run on a schedule, will run it through a sharp scheduler. Of course, it can also work with the standard DNN scheduler, but this is not quite as powerful. Let me briefly go over all the modules that we've included in this collection. But before that, I want to explain the concept of action because it's used in several of our modules. So an action is basically a piece of code that takes some input and that's something like uh, make an HTTP request to a web service or send an email or put something in the database. And this action is used, for example, in action form where the input comes from the user and it's used in redirect toolkit where a set of conditions when matched will execute this action. And it's also used in sh sharp scheduler where um, there are triggers, there are time triggers and event triggers that when fired will execute these actions. Besides this action concept, we also have a content automation tool. This uh, lets you pull content from various sources like database or from web services and use it uh, across the application, like in HTML modules or in other modules that support tokens. And then we have NavXP, which is a menu builder, but what is special about it is that it lets you fully customize appearance using XSL templates and hierarchy. It has a drag and drop uh, menu builder. And then we have Search Boost, which is the most popular search engine in DNN. And finally, we, we've included a component for uh, building UI, Tabs Pro, because in Enterprise App, it's common to lay out pieces of functionality in tabs rather than have long pages. We currently have two licensing options for this collection. We have the Enterprise, where you can uh, install any number of copies and um, we also have the developer license where you also get the source code and you can also distribute the collection. I hope you will find this collection a must have set of tools for your next enterprise project. And also if you need to talk to us, do let us know. We can connect on Skype and uh, talk more about your specific requirement. Thank you for your time.